Hey guys, it's Albano Rano. Um, and I just wanted to talk about Osama bin Laden. As most of you guys know, he he was killed yesterday in a attack in something Pakistan. I think it was Pakistan. Um, but they sent in a Navy SEAL team, and uh, they shot him. So yeah, I mean it was it was pretty pretty cool. They sent I guess they blew the wall on the outside of the perimeter. I guess it was like an 18 foot tall wall with razor wire on the top. Anyway, um, they blew the wall to create a distraction and then um, they flew in this Navy SEAL team and they shot him. I guess they killed one of his family members also in that raid, but you know, it's pretty cool. He was the FBI's most wanted for a long, long time, ever since 9-11. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool that he died. Um, so yeah, I'm here with my friend Johnny, um, who you might know. Anyway, um, what do you think on the situation of him dying? Uh, it's pretty great, actually, because it took him about, what, like, ten years? Uh, decade? Yeah. And people wanted to kill him. God, no shit. think about, it's kind of a, think it's about how many people are happy that he's yeah, dead. Yeah, it's kind of a big win. That yeah. We won. Um, oh, by the way, this is just America's Army 3 in the background, so don't really worry about it. I recorded it earlier, so I'm kind of just fucking around. I'm kind of new, so I don't know how to play. But Anyway, all right. Yeah, he, he was on the run yeah. for 10 years, and, you know, they had some reported sightings of him from soldiers in Afghanistan, but um, I guess he ran away right before they bombed um, someplace in Afghanistan. Um, Bora Bora, I think is what it was called. Something like that. The caves in Afghanistan. Um, he left a couple days before they started bombing that. But, you know, I guess it's kind of... It's kind of cool that he died, obviously. I mean, I guess it's not really cool to celebrate anybody's death, but, you know, it was Osama. It's not like... Somebody else. Uh, no one really cares. Anyway, yeah, no, no one really cares. Um, oh, why would you? Now we just gotta worry about retaliation attacks on the Taliban, but... This is kind of the beginning of the end of the Taliban, hopefully. So hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, because. But you know, what 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 do you think if it wasn't actually him? Dude, I'd be so fucking pissed. I, I, don't I know, know, right? Like, they think it was him, but you know. shooting myself or Pakistan. They all look the same, you know. <laughs> that's racist, Johnny. That's mean. Uh, you shouldn't say. That. I heard. That's what you heard. Yeah, they do all look the same. Um, but yeah, this co this compound was... Uh, I have no clue how to do this really quickly. What do I push? Oh, okay, I got it. Sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I forgot what I was going to say. So, let's make my god dance. Um, oh, yeah, this compound that he was staying in was... Um, I guess they had huge 18-foot walls with razor wire on the top so no one could get in. And It was in Pakistan somewhere, but in this town in Pakistan, they have um, these, uh, how you say, like, I guess military academies for people like the Pakistani army. It's supposed to be on our side. And it's not uh -huh. like they, they don't know that he's there. I mean, how do you not know that Osama is living basically next door in this compound? So I guess it's some kind of military academy. It's basically their equivalent of West Point to us. So um, yeah, and they have you know military police and everything in that in that town. It's kind of hard um, to not know that he that he that he's there. Um, I don't know. I just I think it's kind of like ironic. I mean, a lot of people still don't like. It's kind of hard for them to believe that he's dead. I was just talking about Osama a couple weeks ago. And have be really cool if he died. And uh, guess what? He's dead. So, you know, I, I don't know if I can still like, kind of believe it. I mean, obviously I believe that he's dead. It's just kind of like shocking, you know what I mean? It's kind of... I don't know. It's not It's not really that shocking. But well, you know, I guess I guess it's just shocking because you haven't been f be able to find him for so long. I mean, you just like yeah. finally found him. And um, I guess it was Navy SEAL <laughs> Team 6 that... Uh, oh, fuck. Hang on. Navy Teal, Navy Teal, Navy Seal, um, Team Six, 
that went in and and killed him. Um, they they killed him. Well, they picked Navy SEAL Team Six because I guess they train a lot in um, entries and and stuff like that. So they're really used to it. I heard that I don't know if it's true, but I heard that there was a helicopter that was shot down. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I heard those helicopters shot down, but then Obama said in his speech that no Americans were hurt. So I guess they could have got shot down, but none of them got hurt. But hopefully that's the case because that really suck. But yeah. You know. And they also and then, what? Go ahead. They also like didn't they like uh, throw his body off? Uh, oh yeah. The ocean. Um. No. No country really wanted Osama. Um, I mean, like, who wants the remains of a terrorist? But, um, uh, yeah. right. so the U.S. Navy um, put him off the boat, a barrier at sea. And, uh, you know, they wanted to make sure that it was, like, all to Islam's traditions and whatever. But, you know, who really cares? Really? It's Osama, yeah. That's what they said, at least. I don't, I don't know. Wow. What kind of traditions did they have well, for throwing <laughs> for throwing body people off, of off hope? ships? I don't, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess it was just like, like you know, in respect or whatever. I I really don't know. I don't really give a crap to be. Now that's what you call overboard. What? Now, now that's what you call overboard. Yeah. You know, it's kind of. Right. I don't know. It's that. That's what they do with Navy people that that die. They they send their bodies in coffins with the American flag on. They send it over the um, edge of the ship. So they're basically giving him, really? yeah, uh, they're basically giving giving him a U.S. Navy SEAL, or U.S. Navy burial, let's see. Yeah, but he was, I, don't, I doubt he was in a coffin. Dude, if, if, yeah, well, I don't know, I mean, they probably would have gotten in a lot of trouble if they found out that he wasn't in a coffin, but. Uh, they just, stick, just stick him in a wooden box. In a wooden box. Yeah, you know, if, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. I guess the, the Navy SEAL team that shot him said that he was shooting back at them. They they were gonna yeah. try to arrest him, but they were sh but he was shooting back at them, so they just decided to you know kill him. Yeah, he did. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, if it was me, obviously if he was shooting at me, I'd, I'd shoot him back. But you know, I'd be such a dick. I'd be torturing him. I'd make him like, I'd cut off his fingers and then make him like, eat him or something. I don't know. <laughs> I just oh, uh, or shove <laughs> up his ass or something. <laughs> I heard someone's talking today, like, oh, what if they teabagged him? What if they teabagged him? Yeah, they're Navy SEALs. It's not called <laughs> duty fags. I think they know everything about the military. Um, <laughs> wow, I can't yeah. hit this guy for fucking shit. Um, yeah, that's that's one thing I don't like about Call of Duty. Back on to Call of Duty. Um, whatever. Let's get off the Osama topic. But uh, kids think that... Because they know the difference between an M16 and an M4 on Call of Duty, they think it's like real life. I kind of want to like, you know. Yeah. You should just hear my neighbor. He's like, the AUG is like, no, it's called the Augs Barrier. Um, yeah, it's actually called, yeah, it's ca it's called an AUG. I mean, some people call it an AUG. It's okay, but it's actually an AUG. Or H4. AUG H4. Yeah, um, my whole family's been involved with the military and my stepdad's in Afghanistan right now. Or my uh, uncle's in Afghanistan right now, um, in the Air Force. So um, I will put up some Armor 2 videos, so stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, my friend Johnny, he's he runs Idiotic Creations. I'll leave a, a link to their channel in the uh, description below. So rate, comment, and subscribe. He has some videos up. I personally don't think they're funny, but, you know, it's because I'm a dick. Um... So yeah, just yeah. just hey, it's a work just go progress. check out his it's yeah, great work in, it's work in progress. Anyway, just go check out his um channel and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys next commentary. Peace.